Philadelphia 76ers are one of the more intriguing teams in basketball right now because they have a guy on a massive contract who has yet to play. They've been disappointed in the playoffs in the past, and that doesn't appear to be changing since they simply don't have enough to compete with the other elite teams in the Eastern Conference, such as the Milwaukee Bucks, Brooklyn Nets, and at this moment, the Chicago Bulls. The front office has done a bad job in dealing with Ben Simmons because they are simply waiting for something that will never materialize, since he's not as good as the front office believes he is. If Philadelphia wants to compete for and even win an NBA championship, they'll have to overcome some massive roadblocks. Let's take a look at three things the Sixers must avoid if they want to win the NBA title in 2022. At number three, stop waiting to trade Ben Simmons. It's unclear what Philadelphia is waiting for, but it's evident that it's not getting resolved because they still haven't moved this person in months after deciding that they wanted to trade him. Philadelphia needs to realize that Simmons isn't good enough to bring back a top 25 talent. And if they wait any longer, they'll just injure themselves. If they wait until the NBA trade deadline, they will have no leverage because every other team will know that they want to move him at that time, and they will be able to obtain him for a lower price. It doesn't mean he's a horrible player, but he's not a fit for Philadelphia, and he never has been. Waiting to trade him is terrible from a front office standpoint because they are hoping for a deal that is unrealistic and will never happen. The Sixers have made a huge error, and the longer they wait, the longer the mistake will be. It is unfair to the guys on the team right now to be without a max contract player when there are many other choices for him to be traded. This cannot be a joyful situation for Joel Embiid. If Philadelphia does not make a move soon, they will be in a disappointment in the playoffs once more. At number two, if Philadelphia fails to win again, it's time to change the scenario. If Philadelphia does not win this season, they should consider trading Tobias Harris and a few other assets. Harris isn't that talented for the type of contract that he has, and he's best suited as a third option on a championship team. That is wonderful if Philadelphia can go out and grab another starter next to Embiid. But with the team that they have right now, he is not the answer to be partnered with Joel. They do have some young components that they could decide to maintain, which would be a wise decision from this squad because those younger men certainly have some promise. If Philadelphia decided to sell one of them, it would make sense because they can definitely get a decent return and could be combined with Simmons to obtain that star player that they want. At number one, don't fumble the bag in the playoffs again. There isn't much to say about the Sixers other than they have choked in the playoffs the last few seasons. Whether or not people want to blame Ben Simmons for everything that happened last year, Philadelphia has failed. If Ben Simmons had not played as poorly as he did for the Sixers in the previous playoffs, the outcome could have been different, but many fans seem to forget that Joel Embiid and Tobias Harris were also terrible in the fourth quarter of the playoffs. Because of how poorly Simmons performed, much of the blame was not placed on Embiid and Harris, but they were both terrible in the fourth quarter of playoff games as well. Philadelphia needs to reverse that narrative this season and find a way to win at least the Eastern Conference, because with a player like Joel Embiid, you should be a club that competes for a title every season. Last year, they had the most straightforward path to the Conference Finals that they could have envisioned, but they were defeated by an Atlanta Hawks team that was playing much above their heads. Well guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to Jump Ball Central, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video. See you guys next time.